Hey, it's CryptoBo, and today I'm going to do a quick review of Kraken, which is probably something that I should have done a long time ago, if I'm being honest. And if you haven't already, then click the link in the description and head over to Kraken and sign up for yourself. If you like the quality of the video, it's because I'm coming at you from the recording studio at Steno, a co-working space in Denver, Colorado. If you happen to be in Denver, it's fucking sick, and you should check it out. But anyway, let's get into the meat and potatoes of the Kraken Review. Just a little bit of background, it was founded in 2011 and then launched in 2013, which makes it one of the oldest cryptocurrency exchanges on the market. I had actually not used it until very recently. And the reason I started using it is because I saw Kraken Labs, Kraken Security Labs was doing a lot of interesting work trying to break hardware wallets and with some degree of success. Specifically, I saw they broke a Trezor 1 and a Trezor Model T, which are the two hardware wallets that I personally use. And so it was incredibly relevant to me. If you want more information on that, you can click this video where I go into detail of what the hack was and how to avoid it. Now, I like Kraken. Again, I just started using it, but I've already noticed that their fees are a little bit lower than you're gonna find on either Gemini or Coinbase. They're around the level of where Binance is gonna be. But I think that their focus on security makes them a little bit better than Binance. It's not only just their focus on security, but a culture of security uh, at all levels of the organization because they understand that most hacks are not carried out by attacking you know, the chief security officer. It's by attacking a bookkeeper or receptionist or uh, someone lower down in the company where you can start escalating privileges within the company in order to execute a much larger hack. And so their focus on security is something that I really like and I really respect and I think makes them one of the better exchanges as far as a crypto fiat gateway goes in the market. Now, like with Coinbase or Gemini, the fees are gonna be higher if you you are buying directly with your bank account. So I'd suggest when you're making your first buy to deposit your fiat currency into the account and then use their trading view to make a limit order as opposed to just making a market order from their initial like buy sell crypto pay. That way you're gonna get about 0.16% fees as opposed to like 3.7% fees, which is what you're gonna get making a strict market order. One of the other things I like about Kraken is that they seem very responsive to their user base. For instance, you can look at this article from April 16th, 2019, where they decided that they were gonna delist uh, Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, BSV as it's commonly known, because a lot of the members of that development community were getting pretty toxic to the rest of the cryptocurrency community. They did a Twitter poll and then abided by the results of that Twitter poll. You could say that that Twitter poll is biased, but regardless, I, I think that their responsiveness in that matter uh, was something that I like in a cryptocurrency exchange. Not only that, but you can see here their CEO telling people that they should not store their cryptocurrency on an exchange which makes a ton of sense and is not something that you'll see Brian Armstrong from Coinbase or either the Winklevoss twins doing over at Gemini. And so it, it again, it signals to me that there is an emphasis not only on security, but in best practices, regardless of whether or not it's good for the exchange. And so they see the exchange not as a purely profit extracting system, but rather a public good for people to exchange their fiat currency for cryptocurrency and vice versa. And that's how I'd suggest you use it. I'd suggest you use it as a crypto fiat gateway, a place where you're buying cryptocurrency for relatively low fees and with a lot of cryptocurrencies supported, including Monero, which is not typical of most cryptocurrency exchanges exchanges, and then a place where you can then sell that cryptocurrency and exchange it back for fiat if you need to. I'm going to be using it a lot more and it's quickly becoming one of my favorite crypto fiat gateways. So if you want to sign up, then click the link in the description, head over there and sign up. I think there might be some bonus associated with it. I'm sure that's flashing on the screen if that's the case, but I don't know what it is. I don't really care. I like Kraken. Again, if you want to learn more about that Trezor hack that the Kraken Security Labs discovered, then you can go here. And if you want to learn about some other cryptocurrency exchanges, you can click this link here. I'm CryptoBo. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.